Well, despite uh, the many challenges in solving the city's homeless crisis, there are many stories of success. And they include a program called Bronx Works. It's helped hundreds of people transition to a life off the streets. Matt King talked with clients about what the program means to them. You know, I had a successful life before, but things happen. Ten years ago, Brian Smalley arrived in New York to visit family and never left. I used to be one of the uh, famous ball players. People in the South Bronx once knew Rodney and his brother Richard Manigault, no relationship to Earl the Goat, as street ballers. Stay away from the negative people. Maria Rosa used to drink and occasionally shoot heroin. It became worse when I became homeless. At some point in the last three years, Maria, Rodney, and Brian were all homeless. Maria, starting in 2013 when her apartment burned down. That was when everything spiraled downhill. Rodney, after a series of mistakes in 2005. I blame me, only me. And Brian, when a relationship ended in 2009. That was like the worst days of my life because I never experienced anything like that. Thanks to the group Bronx Works, all now live in permanent supportive housing. They attended a Bronx Works lunch in the South Bronx Friday. Day, with 50 other former homeless to celebrate their permanent housing. I slept all over. Trains, uh, parks, hallways, everywhere. Rodney, Brian, and Maria all confessed to retaining some of the habits they developed sleeping outdoors. I mean, you're sleeping with one eye open, you're sleeping just sitting up, or you're always over alert for things that are not even there. And expressed some nostalgia for the community on the streets. Many of the friends they made there will never leave. No, they're still there. Since 2005, Street homelessness in the Bronx has declined by 80 percent. They look at you like you some, like a plague, like you, you're worthless, like you nobody. They look at us like garbage. Brian plans to get a pet. Rod needs to just enjoy his life, and Maria to spend more time with her grandchildren. She's now been sober for 37 months. All now in their 50s and 60s are looking for work and say they want to keep their apartments. In the South Bronx, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.